example 28, find the terminal velocity of a 210 mm diameter sphere with a specific gravity of 1.4 falling through the falling fluids under the action of gravity through the standard atmosphere at sea level where the coefficient drag is 0.2. The standard atmosphere at 3,000 meters elevation where specific weight of air is 8.87 newtons per cubic meter, the coefficient of drag is 0.2. The next water at 15 degrees Celsius where specific weight of water is 9.806 kilonewtons per cubic meter, coefficient of drag 0.19. Then crude oil through through Crude oil of specific gravity 0.925, coefficient of drag 0.39 at 15 degrees Celsius. Use pool of gravity of 9.826 meter per second square in all cases. So this is the FBD when the sphere attains its terminal velocity, where the terminal velocity will be constant because it accelerates first until all these forces will be balanced. So from the figure, drag force plus buoyant force equals weight. So the drag force is coefficient of drag force, density, area, projected area, velocity square over 2. Buoyant force is gamma of fluid times volume of sphere equals weight. Then solving for terminal velocity, it is square root of Two times quantity weight minus gamma of fluid volume of sphere over coefficient of drag density area. So this is our working equation. Where the weight is specific weight of of sphere 1.4 times 9 nine, 9806 newtons per cubic meter or water at 15 degrees Celsius times the volume of sphere which is 4 thirds pi r cube. So weight is 1.49806 4 thirds pi 0.105 cube specific weight of, of water at 15 degrees Celsius. So weight is 66.57 newtons. Then let's compute gamma of fluid volume of sphere. So at standard atmosphere, pressure is 1,300 1, pascals. So the specific weight of fluid is pressure times G over RT, where R is 287 for air. Temperature is absolute in kelvins. That's 15 plus 273. So 101,300 pascal absolute times 9.806 as as instructed here that G is 9.806 over gas constant of air to 87 newton meter per kilogram kelvins temperature in kelvins absolute 15 plus 273 so it is 12.02 newtons per cubic meter then evaluate gamma of fluid volume of sphere so 12.02 4 thirds pi 0.105 uh, meter cube over 3, so 0 0.05829. Then, coefficient of drag, 0 0.2, density. Density is 12.02 divided by 9.806. Of air is 1.226 kilogram per cubic meter. So, then area is pi radius square. Pi 0.105 square is 0 0.03464 square meter. So everything is here. Substitute V is square root of 2 quantity 66.57 minus 0 0.05829 over coefficient of drag 0.2, density of air 1.226, then area projected area 0 0.03464. So in meters per second, 125.1 meters per second. Then in the second question in standard atmosphere at 300 meter elevation where gamma of air is 8.87. So let's just compute gamma of fluid volume of sphere. So 
So it is 8.87 times 4 thirds pi 0 0.105 cube over 3. So 0 0.04301. Then drug coefficient 0.2. Uh, density of air at that level is 8.87 over 9.826, so 0 0.9045 kilogram per cubic meter. Then the rest is the same, so substitute V2 quantity 66.57 minus 0 0.04301 over 0 0.2.9045 times area 0 0.03464. So the terminal velocity expected would be 145.7 meters per second. Then third in water, so gamma of fluid volume of sphere is 9,806 for water, newtons per cubic meter, 4 thirds pi r cube, so 47.55. Density of coefficient of drag is 0 0.19, density of water is 1,000 because we divide 9,806 by G, which is also... 9.826 so it's 1000 kilogram per cubic meter so substitute 2 times quantity 66.57 minus 47.55 drug coefficient 0.19 density of water 1000 then projected area so 2.404 meters per second then finally in crude oil where specific gravity is 0.925 drug coefficient 0.39 so, gamma of fluid volume of sphere is 0 0.925 times 9 ta specific gravity of crude oil, specific weight of water in newtons per cubic meter, volume of sphere, 43.98 newtons, then drag coefficient 0 0.39, density of crude oil, because we're going to divide this by 9.806, so 925. So the substitute, 2 times quantity 66.57 minus 43.98, coefficient of drag 0 0.39, density of crude oil 925 kilogram per cubic meter projected area. So in crude oil, the expected terminal velocity is 1.901 meters per second. So that's it for this problem.